What's up enthusiasts? Today we're starting something I think we're gonna call Wednesday Workbench or something along those lines and uh, I decided that there's often little things that I want to do and you know maybe film or something like that but they might not be full-blown projects and I thought why not do one or two every so often and just kind of hang out and talk with all of you. So today we're gonna do a couple things. First off is we're going to be switching out the Magwell for the Grijas Magwell that I received uh, just the other day. Now there was an unboxing video for this and some of the other goodies that Grias sent me. I had to take that down for some technical reasons. It will be going back up once I fix them. Uh, but I have today, I went ahead and let me pop the uh, tape off of this. While it, it is white and it came white to me, it wasn't quite exactly a match for the white on here. Um, so I went ahead and I, I taped off the portion that's actually going to be going inside the blaster. And... Uh, painted with the same white spray paint as this the parts that would be not inside the blaster and actually on the outside seeing the world and then I went ahead and put the same finish on it that is on the Fabu Strike. So that way hopefully it should should being the keyword uh, match a little bit better and look like it belongs and it's just part of the piece rather than a 3D printed accessory that has gone on top of it. Uh, I didn't do it with the mag release here but in the future I may start doing it with all of my 3D printed pieces just because well if it works and it makes things look a little more uniform why not do that? I mean really it's just it didn't you know it didn't take me too long to few hours, a couple hours, something like that. Uh, now, it does take about 24 hours for the coat, the gloss coat to actually completely finish uh, and harden, but it says it should be good to handle within an hour, and it's been a couple hours, so uh, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna hope that's good. But it does have a nice kind of gloss finish to it now compared to the part that wasn't finished. Probably hard to pick up on the camera here, but I will try and get a better shot of this once it's installed and everything. So I went ahead and I popped out most of the screws in this. I think it should be ready to open, but uh, maybe, um, maybe I'm wrong. This doesn't feel like it's ready at all. So yeah, I've been wanting one of these magwells for quite a while. Oh, maybe I... I may need to take out this battery. I always forget all the stuff that needs to be done for the rapid strike to pop it open because I don't often open it. Oh, and I've made a horrible mistake. I've made a horrible mistake. I flipped the blaster over. Okay, I only lost one screw. I only lost one screw. I always have that fear of uh, you flip a blaster over and all of a sudden it's just like, oh, oh, all the screws, they're gone. They're all gone everywhere. Uh, okay, this does not, oh, okay, there's another screw. Not want to come apart easily, which is mildly concerning. I already see wires sticking out. Where's my screwdriver? This doesn't appear to be out all the way. All right, let's, let's pull the mag out. That's probably a good idea. Do I need to take this off? I, for, I always forget if this piece, if the battery tray is its own thing or not. This is how little I work on rapid strikes. But we're going to find out together. So yeah, this, this is something I've wanted for a while. I just love the idea of flared magwells. I think it's super cool. I like the idea of um, adding some functionality to it to make things easier to work with, easier to load a mag in, which is great because, you know, I'm sure we've all been there in the middle of a game where uh, you feel like, you know, you're, you're focused on something else and you go to load your mag and you fudge it and it just doesn't, doesn't quite go correctly and you have to take extra time and maybe sometimes that causes you to uh, be tagged out and you know, nobody likes, nobody likes to be tagged out for silly reasons. That's, that's for sure. Okay. I'm losing screws again. Oh! Okay. That... That was not a good sound. 
That was not a good sound at all. Um, okay. Forgot this screw. We're gonna we're gonna cross our fingers here, and uh, we're gonna hope I didn't just didn't just jack this blaster up because uh, that's definitely a stress mark right there on the teeth, and that's that's not good. I don't I don't want the uh, Fabu Strike to be damaged at all. Okay, I think. I think we're there. I think I was just stupid and trying to open things up improperly. So yeah, don't be me. Do things the right way. And this down here pops up. We should be... Oh, I need to pull this little guy off. We'll sling mount point. And where's the last hang up? Nowhere. Okay. We have internals. All right, let's make sure we're not losing any screws anywhere. All right. Blaster is good. Blaster's looks like everything. Oh, there's some some buildup from some uh, dart dust in there. But yeah, this this right here is the piece we are replacing with this. So you notice notice the difference there. This flared part right here is going to allow the magazine, instead of needing to match perfectly and go in 100% correctly, you have a little bit of play now. So you can come in at a slight angle and it'll, it'll uh, help you guide properly. So that is awesome, that is very exciting. And uh, let's go ahead and place it in where it's meant to go. And I think we should just be able to pop everything back closed. I should probably clean this out at some point, but I don't want to uh, make all of you watch me clean out a blaster. That's something for another time. But yeah, we'll pop this back in. And uh, once everything lines up properly, good, 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 good. Okay. Make sure all these wires are, oh, maybe, maybe, yeah. Let me make sure that trigger's in the right spot. And all of these wires, so many wires to the rapid strike, it's ridiculous. Okay, I think, I think we're good. So we can start screwing everything back in and, uh, has that lined up properly? I think it is. Man, that really scared me when I tried to pry this off of the the orange rail here. Like there's what looks like a slight stress mark, like the paint, uh, a, a crack in it right there. So I'm gonna be really scared and really concerned about that for a while. Um, just, I'm, I'm glad it's not broken at least. So that's, we've got that going for us, hopefully. But uh, I, I wanna get this get this re-screwed back in getting closer so this i had an issue with this screw when i first got this gavin fuzzy extended mag release and i it's just a simple thing of uh over tightening right here it would make this seat i've tightened too much it doesn't come back so if you have you know extended mag release like that just loosen a little bit and now it works fine so i found that interesting i'm going to loosen just a smidge more just so it's got the right amount of uh, play to it. All right, I doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too bad. Prehaus, man, I like your design. So there's these little notches in this, like right here. And I'm kind of thinking I might take some paint and go in and fill those in with like this blue either the blue or the pink, just something to tie this piece together a little bit more with the rest of the blaster to make it look like it belongs even more. Cause I, I want it all to look cohesive and unified and like everything on it belongs there. It's, it's kind of an important aspect, you know, when it comes to aesthetics is not just making things, uh, not just making things 
that function, but they look good and, and function on the blaster, which Grios has, has done that. This looks good. I mean, there's very few things. Once this is on here, there's like very few things I would say, except maybe uh, there's a point down here where like if that comes in a little bit more to meet and look like it's flush with this and it's like a, a V cut out and then it comes back out and this part may be coming in more. Like those are the only things I can really see so far. Otherwise, like I, I, I like the way it looks. So I'm, I'm pretty, pretty pleased about it. And I'm hoping, I'm, I'm thinking we're probably going to have like a break in period of kind of loosening up the tolerances, I suppose would be the, be the right word. I think this is the last screw. So many screws. How long has this taken us to screw these screws back in? My goodness. Okay. We're going to call that good because I want to test this. Let's see. How does... Okay. So, yeah. It's a little tight. It's a little tight at first. But that's with a, that's with a worker PMAG. Let's see what a Hasbro 18 is like. Like a Hasbro 18 slide in like butter. That's that's not bad at all. And it's just, oh, you hit, it's like, it's so nice. You you don't have to be right on. Like you just, you just go. Oh, I'm so happy about this. Like, oh man. Yeah, so we'll, I may sand down this a little bit so these worker ones and other aftermarket ones go in a little bit smoother but i don't want to go too far because i still want these to be able to work and not you know be too loose or anything um yeah i just i think i'm gonna have to just put these in with a little bit more force so that's cool i'm pretty stoked about this pretty happy about that grijas nice work with this man I cannot wait to use this in a game, and I look forward to uh, you hopefully, hopefully doing a Strife version. But let's move on to the next, whoops, the next thing for today, which is swapping out the spring in the Caliburn. Now, I know this might be a little odd because we haven't finished building the Caliburn in terms of our Let's Build the Caliburn videos, but... It is, it is finished. I have been filming the review. Uh, it has taken some time, that's for sure. I have been wanting to get as, as comprehensive footage and testing and range, accuracy, FPS, all that. So we're going to swap out the spring here. Now, the thing that I think we're supposed to do here is he said we switch back the last like six or seven pages. So I think what we're doing essentially is just popping these open so that this whole assembly comes off. I think, I think that is the plan. Um, and I could be wrong. It wouldn't be the first time I've been wrong. It's not rare for me to be wrong, but, uh, we're gonna we're we're gonna find out together here. All right, let's start with loosening this guy. There we go. So that way we can get this piece off, and then slide this off of here. And now let's grab this nut up here. So, we've got this piece here. Talk about that. That is a camera mount, and my gimbal is going to go on there. That is the plan, at least. Uh, I want to be able, oops, there's one. I want to be able to get as much footage as I can, gameplay wise, especially with this kind of awesome blaster like this. And, um,. Testing out the available options and seeing what the the 
differences are between the springs you know obviously it's going to be less fps but i want to see what it's like with the scar barrel as well with the the k25 rather than k26 and how other accuracy things are um, improved or, or change rather uh, so let's go back one more Ooh. Uh, okay yeah Yes, we just take the nuts off and then this this should come off. Should being the key word. Okay, we're going to find out. <laughs> I'm starting to quiet. I was like, I think I know what I'm doing, but that's always a dangerous feeling for me. That's often when I do something wrong is when I feel the most comfortable and confident and I stop thinking about it, but gonna take these nuts off and uh, it should yep there we go okay it did it for me okay so we've got our spring k26 out k25 will be going in but now that I think about this actually uh, maybe we should grab Ah, uh, this guy. Okay. That is, that is not super clean. Got some lube. And we find something to apply said lube with. Uh, really shoulda. All right. Want to apply a little bit of I'm probably going to do this oops, absolutely horribly, and you guys in the comments can tell me everything that I'm doing wrong because, well, I need to learn. Part of these, these modding videos and kind of follow along videos with me is uh, to learn. I need to learn and I want to learn the way to do things. Ooh, look at all that. But yeah. Uh, I think just because it was feeling a little bit uh, kind of grindy when I was priming because I took so many shots with this blaster over the last week or so just testing and filming and recording and all of that and uh, I, I you know want it to be in good condition and performing properly. I think, you know, we're supposed to apply like a thin layer, so I'm not, I don't want to go too ham on it or anything, but I want to make sure it's proper. Everything is the way it should be. But this is just so like, let, can we clean this off? Oosh. That nice, pretty pink, that fabulous pink is like marred and dirty. Don't want it that way. I want it nice and clean and smooth. Look at that dirt or whatever that is. Get some of this out of here. This like clear tube back here is starting to get marred up as well. And I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. Like I said, I want things to look nice and presentable and clean and well, it's just, it's not that way right now. So, all right, that hopefully, hopefully will service this a little bit better. Uh, we'll find out, we'll find out. All right, so this, I believe, what we do is we drop in here, and this part's probably gonna be off of camera because it requires a little bit of force, if I remember correctly. Reload this up. Find all the right holes. Come on, which I'm having trouble with. There, there, and why are you so difficult? There we go. There we are. Okay. First. Before I can bring this back on the camera, I gotta get at least one of these 
nuts on here if it will work with me and it won't <laughs> why why are you so difficult there we go oh my goodness okay okay we got one one down let's get one of these set in as well okay we should be we should be all right now I've got this guy that doesn't want to cooperate. Work with me. Come on. Why did it, so it pushed like it pushed through back here, but I can't push it back through. It has to lock in or has to be threaded back through, which is so strange to me. Okay. Get back on and uh oh i f okay there was something else i was going to do but we're, i'm going to test the fps on this first and then i can come back to it if if need be at a later date but uh i'm trying to get this down to a hundred and fifty fps is is the goal um four our 5v5 day this weekend because that is our FPS limit currently but okay so that's I need to remove that o-ring right in there possibly uh, good news is I can potentially do that mid prime if I get help from someone else yeah, no, I could do that by myself. With the K25, it's a much, much lighter prime, so it's not as, uh, not as bad. All right. So we're just going to go ahead and finish up this. I have been absolutely loving this blaster so much. And then there's improvements for it that I need to pick up because that's just exciting. But I want to review kind of the beginning or the origins of it. The first 100 before Captain Slug started adding all those extra goodies. Which he's been doing, which I think is awesome. Absolutely awesome. I love, 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 love when product designers and creators continue to improve and iterate on their creations just just to make them better like he could have left it as is he could have just said yeah you know it's 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 good it's it's people like it and i'm happy with it but he just continues to improve on it and add new uh pieces that you can get we've there's a new piece that goes back here that will help stabilize this which can lead to um uh what's it called um priming issues, catching issues, which I, I was having a little bit of uh, during my testing. So I'm really happy to hear about that and see that and just a myriad of other things, things that make installation easier. So I'm just, I'm really, really happy as a whole with how this has uh, come about and how this project continues. Okay, so I believe that goes like this. And this needs to come out here. Coupling that goes there. Okay. This comes out. We made this mistake during the live build of having the nuts in the wrong place. We won't do that again, hopefully, because that took an embarrassing amount of time, which you will see, uh, hopefully, Tomorrow, I believe the final portion of the, the Caliber and Build video will be going up if uh, you have been following that and missed the live stream. All right. All right, I think, uh, I think we're there. Are we? Yeah. We're, uh, we're there. Let's load up a dart. See, uh... 
Let's see how we're doing. Got our test starts right here. Go boom. Forward. Still very loud. Functions, that makes me happy. And uh, I think that's what's, uh, what we're gonna call it for today. We did a couple things. Uh, I enjoy just kind of hanging out with all of you and, and getting a chance just to talk and, you know, have some fun on camera doing whatever and getting stuff ready for games and whatnot. So let me know what you think about this kind of Wednesday workbench kind of series. You know, is it something you guys like the idea of? Is it something you want to see more of as we continue to do more things with blasters or whatever, paint jobs or mods or what have you? Does it interest you? Let me know in the comments. If you're new to the channel and enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that subscribe button for more in the future. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular, and I'll see you next time.